Alright everyone, so today I'm going to be going over three items in ARK which do actually exist within game, but you can't get any of them legitimately, so it's kind of a bit weird really, but anyway, let's begin. So the first one I'm going to have to uh, spawn in because it spoils really quickly, and that is the super test meat. Now, uh, you can't actually cook this, there's no cooked sort of super test meat, and I have no idea what the implication is going to be, whether it's going to be some sort of rare sort of chance that you get it from things that yield raw prime meat like brontos or something you might get one of these and that boosts the taming we don't really know but one thing i love about it is the description where it actually says you shouldn't have this seriously it's not possible to obtain there's either a huge bug you need to report or you're cheating and most people including myself are just like going yeah we're cheating so yeah i have no idea what this is for it spoils uh it spoils really quickly i think it's about 50 seconds i can't remember strange though Anyway, that's probably the most boring. This is quite interesting and something I'm looking forward to. And this is the Bingleberry Soup. Now, currently, there is no Rockwell recipe for this. So, they've implemented the actual, like, soup itself. And you can eat it. And it restores an absolute boatload of hunger. You don't have to take my word for it, though, because I don't have enough hunger to, um, to really justify doing it. But it does restore a lot and very quickly. Um, so, this... I mean, this is going to be really useful because it. what I'm hoping is if it's just made from berries, all of us with, like, brontos and stuff that just seem to, I don't know if this will have any on, but accumulate berries like mad. Uh, there's not very much on this one at the minute. But, uh, yeah, they just sort of accumulate and you don't really have a use for them. They're used in some recipes, but you get so many, it's just not even... Yeah, it's not even a problem. So if you can make something that restores like full hunger, doesn't spoil for a few hours like most recipes do, then this could be one of the most useful things in game. And it'll mean going caving and stuff, hunger will be much less of an issue or just general cold areas. So that's something I'm really looking forward to them implementing properly. This is really interesting, the radio. Now, a lot of people think this is really pointless because... Why do you need a radio in game when a lot of people just use Skype or TeamSpeak or something similar? And you can write, and obviously there's the in game VIP, so it kind of seems a bit pointless. But if I um, if I just I'm gonna put this on my hotbar, then if I use it, it'll come up with this really interesting window. Where it's like enter the frequency, so I'm just gonna put a hundred in. Obviously, you can put whatever you want. Now, I know from experience, we've tried it, I mean, uh, the rest of the tribe, the voice chat does not work, so don't even bother trying to do that. So, I've put 100 gigahertz in, and you'll see it does actually say 100 gigahertz at the bottom. Now, what this actually does is it'll replace my tribe chat. So, if I press forward slash, it'll say radio instead in this corner up here. And, uh, and then if I type anything, not even my tribe can see that. Uh, it'll just be people on the same band frequency, so like 100 gigahertz or whatever you set it to. Now this, I think, will actually have a use, and that's if you and other tribes in your area are allied, you could, if the voice chat works, that is, and they implement it properly, you could each have a walkie-talkie, uh, pre-arrange some sort of frequency, and then talk to each other from your tribe's base, because obviously you don't really want other people's tribes joining your team speak or your Skype conference calls, and you may not want to add them on Skype and whatever. So that is a really good way of having sort of a better interrelationship between tribes and stuff. And that is it, there are the three items which actually exist within ARC, but haven't yet been implemented. I really don't understand why the uh, dingleber Bingleberry Soup, whatever, what is it called? Bingleberry Soup, yeah. Hasn't been implemented. Because it's just all a bit strange, really. And if you wanted to know the item ID, is Bingleberry Soup is 51, the radio is 141, and the Super Test Meat is 183, as far as I can remember. So, if you want to spawn them in, go ahead, have a look at them, see what you think. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please go check out the other stuff on my channel. Uh, I do a lot of other ARC stuff. A lot like this, but a lot more that's actually helpful and useful. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.